we just got to the mowing shop, Spencer's Lawn Care Shop, this morning. And uh, we're pulling in. We have a contractor job. Got our park job here. Just temporary because we have to go pick up a big tex uh, with some other equipment. But what we're doing is we're heading out to uh, a store to pick up these like tractors. They have like lifts and all kinds of cool stuff. And we have to do some uh, bush hog work and just high places. We got to clear out some trees. Good morning. Looking good back there, man. Are you going to be our full time receptionist here soon? No. Just showed up. Wait. Cool. Thanks for unlocking. Good morning, Ian. How's it going? Nice parking job there. It looked pretty bad when I pulled in, but did you fix it? It's, no, you it, didn't. Nope, nope. It's temporary. Okay, boss. Okay. Get out there and fix it, boy. Morning, Garrett. Good morning. How you doing? Doing good. Ian, you fixed your parking job? Yeah, go check it out. What do you think of the shop here, Garrett? I think it's really cool. When did you guys get this all built? Like, I, I haven't seen any of this. We had a builder. His name was Matt and with, with Midwestern Builders, and he threw it up in a month and a half. So early, late spring, early summer, he put it up. So, yeah. Wow, he did a fantastic job. I love all the finishings and all the little details. Like, look at these lights and everything. It looks yeah, great. Yeah, no, it, it's clean. It's kind of got like the can. It kind of has like an outdoor vibe, um, which I was kind of going for, like a kind of a log cabin feel at times. We have all new equipment. Everything's running good. But today, guys, we're not mowing. We're doing something a little different. So we have a demo from HUD Rig. It's like a European tractor company. And they have like crazy tractors, crazy attachments that you would like never see in America. So that's what we're gonna demo today. Cool. About six stories up in the air. We can we got uh we got a boom on the tractor. Okay, wait, uh, how tall? Very six tall. Stories, Sixty feet. Uh, okay, okay. I, I might get a little bit scared. We're, we're, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Somebody's going up in it, and I'm not. So maybe <laughs> I will. So did we get it cool. for free? Are they just giving it to it's us? One day demo. Yep, free. We're okay. gonna try and make as much money as we can. I have three jobs lined up: uh, mowing, kind of logging. There's like a logger processor on it, and then, uh, and then something else I forget. But nice. Who forgot to shut the door? Someone forgot to shut the door. God dang it, board. Whoops. That's right. Might have, might have been me, honestly. It's good. I feel like you're my Uber driver right now. Well, if Ubers drive power strokes, I guess I can be one. Hey, it pays I, I, it pays I, I, you, Garrett, so why not? All right, boys, there they are. The first one gets the tractor. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. I call the 2200. Oh, no, yeah, good. There we go. There we oh, go, boys. Oh, oh he beat you. Uh -huh. This is the HUD, HUD dig, I think is how you pronounce it, but that's the 2200 lift you can see up on there. And then this is the 1260, so they're pretty similar. I think that one has a little bit more horsepower and maybe a wider wheelbase to hold the the lift but a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of attachments and stuff a lot of yeah, buttons lot we're gonna of, have to click bunch of hydraulic hoses yeah we're gonna we're gonna go through a tutorial try and figure it out and yeah it's gonna be nice I'm, we got a bush hog it's a backhoe on both of them so if you guys like we could literally like b dig a big hole or something for fun but here's a log um what do you call it? a stump grinder and, and then a grapple these look like really modern like they really refine the design and I, I like it run both so let's throw one each on the trailer and then we'll we'll head into actually the one there's one in town on our way we're gonna mow this side of the ditch uh coming into town on highway 60 so with the bush hog it. you think yep the bush hog with the backhoe okay cool guys we're getting the 2060e loaded up on uh, on the power strokes trailer on the big techs here so these are both uh we got them both out to us for free so we're, we're just demoing them which is awesome uh, but this thing's got like all wheel steer it's really weird uh so i'm gonna do my best not to hit anything like a little bit up there there we go and then we'll set the bush hog down that way it doesn't move there we go we got them loaded up looks pretty good they all look uh pretty good on the trailer i know we got this one kind of straight but we got the forks on there and then we put the bush hog down that way it doesn't move on the trailer because it is a pretty big little look at this squat on the power stroke. Oh my god. I finish adjusting this one to make sure it's all ready to go for its long uh, long haul on over to where we got to get the contracting work done. And it's going to be good. So all you guys know, once we uh, we head out of the shop and get on going to our first stop. Good. Yeah, I set the bush hog down on this one. That way uh, it's not flying all over the place. Yeah, that looks good. This processor is kind of tough. It has like this weird kind of crane arm on the back. So... It's kind of hard to hard to keep still. Let's head out. Yep, pull up the ranch. Let's get going. Follow me. All right, boys, you feel that weight? We're squatting quite a bit. Well, if you can hear us on the comms, we're going to take a left here. Then just go north on Highway 60. It's literally past the baseball fields. Not yeah. far. Boy, you can feel the weight on this thing. It's moving all over the place. 
Yeah, it is. It's kind of pushing us around. So. I don't think this thing could squat any more than it currently is. Well, I'll take her off. Nice and easy, big cat. Put on the strobes there. There we go. Yes, sir. Awesome. We're just taking the one off here? Uh, yeah. Yep, we're just going to take the one off. I don't. There's no... There's no tree work, I don't think. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty bare around here. We're going to hit this corner, and then we're going to head all the way down here. Listen up. So the plan is, yep, drive right next to the fence. Use the backhoe bush hog. Get over the fence as close as you can and make, uh, like, one or two passes for the width of it. And then come back, finish up. You got to get in between the street and the and the rail as well. So. Yep. Nicely done. And we're going. Looks good. So, like, this is super nice because we don't got to pull out the weed eater. We don't got to go through here. And, it, uh, and you only do it once or twice a season. All right, guys, we're getting this cleaned up along the fence the best we can. I don't want to go in traffic uh, too much. Oh, boy, there we go. Getting it all cleaned up, and it's looking pretty good so far. So we're going to do all the way down here, Highway 86, I think it is. Uh, but we're leaving a little bit of uh, the scraps here. There we go. We're getting it turned around, uh, and then we'll get it lined up the best we can. So here, I'm going to set it down, the bush hog. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's turn it so that it's angled correctly. But this this uh, backhoe with the bush hog is pretty heavy, so... Well, uh, there we go. All right, guys, we just uh, finished up. Uh, there it is. It looks it looks all right. Let's go ahead and turn it off, and then we'll uh, we'll fold it back up here. So here, let's talk to him. Yeah, Ian, you need any help, man? Yeah, the, this thing uh, it runs all right, but we're gonna have to go. Another company's gonna use their weed whacker on the on the edges. Okay, yeah, it it is tough, and I'm sure this is a demo. We're just trying to show you guys like kind of how it works and stuff, but yeah, it's, it is tough to drive. So did sure. you have fun? Yeah, it was all right. Should I load it back up on the trailer? Yeah, load it back up. All that matters is that you had fun. Yes, yeah, sir. We just got them, uh, or at least the 1260 loaded back up. Uh, it's all ready to go, and we're going to get back up in the power stroke. Here he's starting up. Hope he doesn't leave without us. There we go. I head to a, uh, I think it's a farm down the road. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe another city job. Uh, but we're on our way down, so it should be a good ride. And let's get going. All right, boys, we made it. Get off your phones. Look alive. Look alive? Okay. Yes, sir. You guys playing? What are you playing back there? Pokemon Go or something? Flappy Bird. I... Flappy, Flappy Bird. Yes. Yeah, a... You still have Flappy Bird on your phone? Yeah, they deleted it off the App Store, I think. Yeah, I, I, I need to borrow your phone one day. I play that. I gotta get the hours in. It's so addicting. <laughs> I just can't stop. This is it right here. This creek side. We're gonna take out quite a bit of trees because the farmer always complains he's got a bridge down the way and trees break off big storm big flood and they destroy his bridge so okay all right i i'm gonna run the processor if somebody wants to run the bush hog uh, and then we'll need Garrett, some all you. And probably grapple too here comes bolt pull her in baby drop the ramps the fumans made it jesus how did you no take one's... the long bolt did you get lost on the way no his truck broke down oh, on traffic come on man Back on the job here <laughs> No, you're doing the whole thing. Just wish me luck. Hopefully, I can do better than Ian. Ah, uh, we'll see about that. Not for Spencer. He's crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He is... Look, he just put it in the water. Right, Spencer's oh backing up over there. He's getting uh, all the wood cut up on from the trees, and then Garrett's getting the bush hog fired up. He's gonna lower it down, and then he's gonna run all the way over here, cause uh, this is the other tree that Spencer cut down. Oh boy, don't uh, want to go swimming today. Fires and light them fires, Garrett. Get out. Come on, man. Quit texting that girl back there. I got to do. Rumor is it's a hundred foot tree. A hundred foot tree. Our, our bucket can't tankers? even reach it. Wait, yeah, I was gonna say, can't we only go up sixty feet? Well, or... you gotta take that first forty off. Oh god! The first branch coming down is a forty footer. Hopefully, it doesn't fall oh. on us. Cables, we're gonna have everything set up ropes, so it should we should be safe. But it's gonna be a tight. It's the high school or, or something like that. Okay. Bolt was Bolt was organizing these jobs this morning, so. Cool. To suspect that it's gonna be quite a bit more dead than they were leading on to. So we, like I said, we might have to take out the whole entire thing. So. Okay, we'll see once we are there. Oh, oh. yeah, that's a big. One. That is a uh, that's a fall hazard. That's a widow maker right there, boys. That definitely is. Here, I'm... Captain Ian. Yeah, I'm gonna get these. You of your su duties. Support slower. You got it. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna move it a bit closer. You guys stay on comms. Help me out. I can't see a lot of what I'm doing. So if you want to line me up a bit. All right. Uh, yep. Tires off the ground? Uh, they're not off the ground, but they're they're uh, heavily supported. Yeah, you're going to be stable. I'll go grab the chainsaw for you. Okay. Before you get up there. 
take the chainsaw. Yep, I better take that. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. Hey. All right, I, I'm backing up now. This is all on you, Spence. Talk to me if you see big wind gusts. I guess he can't really see wind, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not good at seeing that. If it starts leaning at the bottom, let me know. You yeah, I moved the power stroke bottom. out of the way so that we. No, I. I this... All right. Well, uh, good luck up there. Thank you. The weather's already getting a bit cooler up here. I bet. Just, just that distance. Wow. Yeah, man, it's cold. I guess it is a bit of a chilly day. There we go. She's maxed out. What does it look like from down there, guys? I see a small person. Yeah, yeah, I see a very small person. I zoomed in a little bit with my binoculars to kind of see you, and you look pretty well positioned. Alrighty. You um, guys got the pulleys? Yep. I got, got the pull. rope. Yep. I'll grab the one over here on this side. Alright, here here we go. She's coming down. Starting the cut. Alright. I'm pulling the rope. You better here yell. We go. She's yep. coming. There we Timber. go. There we go. Nice. That's about perfect. Perfect. That rope worked out pretty good. She's going. Oh boy. Oh boy. Right towards you. There we go. Nice. There we go. That was a lot thicker there. Yeah. Guys, he's getting uh, those trees cleaned up right there, so that'll be uh, pretty good. And then we'll just go take him to uh, the sawmill, and then we'll head on back to the shop. We're going to take these demos back. Uh, so, yeah, let's finish up cutting these, and then we'll head out and get everything loaded back up. She's good. Push, push, push. There we are. All right. I'm going to jump down if somebody wants to. Uh, yeah, I'll bring it all the way back down. All right, guys. Is this pretty cool or what? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. nice. Welcome back to the ground, by the way. You were up there quite some time. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it looked like it was stable. Yeah, it really was not moving at all. Like maybe when you were at the max height, it just like shifted a few millimeters from maybe the weight like, and maybe, stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, but besides that, especially when you got lower, it seemed to be perfectly fine. Hey, cool Gary, bean. You're doing another tree. Yeah, who's doing the next one? Oh. How, you were high up there, Spence. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty dangerous. All right, that's going to end it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. So, this is Garrett. He's going to get this set up and take the, uh, the last one down. But uh, we're going to end it here. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.